Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what you see here. This is a grocery haul, college edition. What I get. What kind of groceries I get at college when I'm trying to lose weight. This is going to be very, let me get closer. Let's have a deep connection. This is going to be a very realistic, just no, what is it? B, BS, no BS, because I'm not gonna sit here and say, Mm, all I eat is fruits and vegetables and mm, all I eat is the healthiest things in the world because that is not true but that's why you guys see some junk food here and that is because this weekend was Valentine's Day and I'm not gonna restrict myself on Valentine's Day but anyways let's get started with what I got or with what I usually get let's start off with meat with me okay so as you guys can see here we have one right here I usually get turkey ground turkey and I try to get the 93% lean 7% fat because it's lower in calorie okay guys so the next type of meat that I get is chicken breast which I'm pretty sure everybody gets um, it's already open because I used it. I just have to cut them and put them away in Ziploc bags now, but Everybody needs chicken breast. Chicken breast is the go-to. Guys, if you see that I'm getting out of breath, it's because I am kneeling on a chair and it's very difficult. It's very difficult, you know, you're half on the floor, half not. Gotta keep you, gotta keep you standing. But anyways, let's move on. Okay, you guys, so this is the next meat I get. This is turkey breast sliced oven roasted from Walmart. For breakfast, sometimes I eat this and I just eat it with avocado or put it in my eggs. So this is just the go-to, it's already finishing. Okay, guys, so this is a new one that I started getting. This is just all natural turkey breakfast sausage patties. I'm pretty sure it's not all natural. But for two patties, it's 110 calories, and I usually just eat one patty and cut it in like fours and put it in my sandwich or bagel. And I actually really like it. Okay, guys, then we have this turkey bacon. I used to hate turkey bacon, let me tell you. I was like, how are people eating this rubber, this literally rubber tasting bacon? It doesn't even taste anything like bacon. And then I discovered this bacon. Um, this is the closest you're gonna get to actual bacon in turkey form because it just, it just tastes way better than the other bacons I've tried. Okay guys, let's move on to cheeses. So the first cheese I'm gonna talk about is American cheese. And you guys are probably thinking, American cheese. American cheese is not healthy and it has a lot of calories. Um, and you're you're right. American cheese is not healthy. It's probably the worst cheese ever. But my favorite cheese is American cheese. I'm sorry, but it is. So I had to I had to find one that was the lowest calories, and this is the one that I found for one slice at 60. I got this Swiss cheese because it said 40 calories per slice. First of all, they're super thin, which I love because I'm not a cheese fan. I don't like thick cheese. I don't eat cheese by itself. I'm sorry. A lot of people like cheese. I know that. But people who like Swiss will probably like this. But I do not like Swiss at all. So I would be putting this in my bagels and my sandwiches. And I'd be miserable because Swiss cheese tastes like nothing. And a little bit of something nasty. So I just was not enjoying it. I will not be purchasing it again. I just wanted to show you guys just in case you like Swiss and you want low calorie cheese. You can try this one. But I also wanted to let you guys know that 
if you really like something and <laughs> I don't even know what to say. If you if you do not like something, do not get it just because it's lower in calorie or it's healthier because you will not enjoy what you're eating and you will probably just go into a spiral of wanting to eat everything that you want because you are not getting the same flavor from the things you are trying. So I just say to that, eat what you love, but in moderation. Okay, so now we have this low moisture part skin mozzarella cheese from Great Value. So you can't go wrong with mozzarella cheese. I feel like how can you... I like this mozzarella cheese. I put it on my stuffed peppers. I... Yeah, that's basically what I put it on. Okay, guys. So, 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 okay, guys. So since we're on the topic of cheese, I'm just going to go into cream cheese. Okay, so I get the Philadelphia whipped cream cheese because for two tablespoons, it's 50 calories. Yes, it's 50 calories. So for the original, it's two tablespoons for 80 calories, something like that. So I just opted for the whip. It tastes exactly the same. It's just a little more airy. Okay guys, now yogurts. So this is my all time favorite yogurt. This is the Chobani chocolate haze craze. I love this yogurt so freaking much. It tastes like dessert. And for one of this, I'm so confused. Some of them say 230, some of them say 220, some of them say 210. But this one has 220 calories. And I usually eat this for dinner or for breakfast when I'm not feeling something too heavy. And it's filling because it's a Greek yogurt and it has nuts in it. But you could also eat it as a snack if you want. I love this thing. Okay, guys, another yogurt that I just discovered. I didn't just discover that one, but... I just discovered this one. It's the light and fit, the light and fit Greek strawberry cheesecake yogurt. It's 80 calories for one. And I I don't know how I feel about these yet. I don't think I really like them. I know a lot of people like the light and fit yogurts, but maybe it's just this flavor and I love cheesecake. So I thought I was really gonna like this. But I don't like this flavor. I tried the coconut one. The coconut's really good. Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna move on to the produce because I need to put that on the fridge. Um, okay, obviously bananas. Who doesn't like bananas? I love bananas. I put them on toast. I put them, I use them to make pancakes, smoothies. I don't make smoothies, but just giving you ideas. I just use them for pancakes and toppings and to put them on bread, that's it. I just got tomatoes. I'm not really a fan of tomatoes, but I thought it would be um, good to have tomatoes just in case you want to make a BLT, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. Um, but I haven't used them yet, but tomatoes, if you like tomatoes. Peppers, red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers, any peppers. It's great. You could also make stuffed peppers, whole meal. So good. Okay, avocados. These are already rotten, and I probably just messed it up even more but yeah i like to make avocado toast in the morning with some arugula and some onions so avocados even if you want to make guacamole you can make guacamole avocados um i get some lemons just to put them on top of pasta drizzle some juice and some zest super good i also think cilantro is really good to just put on top of stuff or just mixing your pasta love making pasta so okay i love putting mushrooms in anything i love putting them in my chicken in my turkey in my pasta so i always get them okay this is the baby arugula i was talking about that i put on my avocado toast so freaking good it smells a little bad though but it tastes really good get it um this is some baby spinach i also put this sometimes on my avocado toast also we have broccoli florets i do not like to get the big thing of broccoli because i don't like to cut it i'm lazy and i also do not like frozen broccoli because it gets soggy and nasty so i just prefer this broccoli florets pack but it also gets bad really quickly so you're probably gonna have to freeze it at some point 
Okay, you guys, I forgot about blueberries. I love blueberries. I put them on my pancakes. I put them in my oatmeal. I just love blueberries. And of course, we have strawberries. I put them on my pancakes. I put them on my oatmeal. I love strawberries. Okay, you guys, so let's just talk about condiments. I already talked about like one, I think. But another thing that I love to get is butter because who doesn't love butter on their toast? I get the Smart Balance Light Olive Oil. It is 50 calories for one tablespoon and it tastes like butter. Then I get this Hellman's Light Mayonnaise. It is 35 calories per one tablespoon. It doesn't taste as strong as mayonnaise, just tastes a little lighter, but I think it it still gives you that feeling of you're eating mayonnaise, you know? Okay, and then I love this 100% pure avocado oil spray. I use it for anything. I use it to cook my meat. I use it to make my pancakes. I keep talking about pancakes, I don't know. <laughs> but I love this. It doesn't alter the flavor of anything. And it's also, it's just a way to watch how much oil you're putting in your food because just putting oil in your food you don't know how much calories you're putting in there and it could just like boom boom just exceed the amount of calories you're trying to go for so i recommend this okay now i get this italian dressing um this is 15 calories for two tablespoons i have not tried this one actually i've been getting a different one it was like two tablespoons for 45 calories but i wanted to try this one that i saw on tiktok and I just use this to make a spaghetti salad. It's just cucumbers, shrimp, imitation crab, imitation lobster, and a little bit of this and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And it tastes so freaking good. So this is what I use that for. Okay, next I got this Red Hot Wings Buffalo Sauce. I wanted to make buffalo chicken on a wrap. I saw that on TikTok as well, but I haven't tried it. I mean, I know this tastes good, but I haven't tried to make that yet. But that is why I have this. Okay, I get cooking white wine to cook my shrimp sometimes because it just makes me feel like I'm a cook. Okay, guys, let's talk about milk products and eggs. I just got this really big 18 egg pack. It's a twin pack from Walmart. Normal eggs. I don't really pay attention to eggs because I, I don't eat them as often. But when I do, I just eat any eggs. Okay, next I get egg whites. I get egg whites because I'm gonna talk about pancakes again, but I eat a lot of pancakes for breakfast. I make them with bananas and stuff. So I like to put egg whites in my pancakes to make them a little less calorie. Because if I put a whole egg, it's like adding on 70 calories on top of oats and you know oats have a lot of calories. So three tablespoons of this is 25 calories. So yeah. Okay, next I get this unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Almond Breeze, I don't mind the brand, but this is the cheapest one at the Walmart. So this is what I get. Cause your girl has stomach issues. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. I do not drink orange juice, but I just got this because um, we were making, I don't know, sunset, something sunset, I don't know. It's a drink with tequila and and orange juice for Valentine's Day, so we just got this. But it has 50 calories for a fluid ounce. It's the lesser calorie option, and it has calcium, a lot of calcium. Oh, wait, never mind. All orange juice has calcium, huh? But it has 50% less sugar and calories than orange juice. Okay, guys, so I know you're probably wondering, what the hell is this doing there? This is some Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. And I got this because, as I said, it was Valentine's Day weekend that just passed. And I was craving some cheesecake. And I saw this one at Walmart. And I love the Cheesecake Factory's cheesecakes. So I got it. And I don't regret it. Okay, guys. So let's talk about bread because we have a lot of bread here. So I just discovered this bread. It is 45 calories for two slices. It is the Sara Lee Delight Full Bread and Honey Whole Wheat. I am so happy this exists now because I love bread. You guys, I love bread. And I made some French toast with this the other day and it was absolutely delicious. 
Okay, you guys, so these are from the same brand. This is the, the Rustic Oven Sourdough Bread. This is the Artesian Bread, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, we get both because they're so good and we finish them really quickly. This is what I usually eat with my avocado toast. Okay, next up we have these bagel things, everything bagel things. I freaking love these. I remember when I first got them, I was not feeling them. But after a while, you get used to them and I started loving them. They're 110 calories for one. Okay, you guys, I also get these Mission Carb Balance Wraps. It's 70 calories for one, but I need to I need to be on the hunt for a different one because I've seen so many different ones on TikTok, TikTok that are lower calories. So I need to try to find those. I've been looking everywhere and I can't find them, but I will try to find out if I find I will try to find it, okay? Okay, I consider this kind of like bread too. This is the Caramel Quaker rice cake for one of them it's 50 calories i freaking love these so much they're just like a sweet little snack you can't go wrong with it i always snack on them through the, through the caca the caca caca means good just in case you guys didn't know in this instance okay guys we're getting to the end and i think i see this this is an honorable mention because this is what I use to weigh my food, my meats, my everything that comes in ounces or grams, you can weigh on this thing. I got it on Amazon, I will leave the link down below. Okay, so let's talk about pasta. So I like to get linguine. Linguine is my favorite type of pasta. Um, this is the linguine I get, great value, like a dollar or cents each, something like that. Okay, next we have the bonza pasta the bonza chickpea pasta i thought this was gonna taste like doo-doo but i actually don't mind it it's just softer in texture so if you guys don't like that soft texture i don't know if you like this but give it a try because i was just basing it i was just basing it off of what people were saying but i actually really enjoy it it's just a little more expensive than your average pasta okay guys let's talk about pasta sauces i always get classico this is the classical roasted garlic for half a cup it's 50 calories love it you can put other things in it vegetables mushrooms seasonings it's just really great on its own okay let's talk about alfredo i love alfredo sauce that is my favorite pasta sauce which is is literally the worst because it just this, this doesn't even exist in italy and i love pasta so I don't know, I just love my Alfredo and this is 45 calories for one fourth cup. So it's less than your red sauce, but it's still, it's a perfect amount. I'm telling you, if you're serving one person and you put 45, um, one fourth cup of this in your pasta, it's, it's, you're still going to taste the Alfredo. It's not like there's barely anything on it, you know? Okay. This rice is self-explanatory. I get my jasmine rice. It's my favorite type of rice. I, read, I eat it with anything. I think it's also lower in calorie than regular rice. I don't know. But yeah, I usually eat like a half a cup of this, which is 160 calories. Yeah. Guys, I also got onions. I forgot to show you that, but white onions, red onions. Um. Next is, I got this minced garlic this pre-minced garlic because i hate cutting garlic that is like if i'm going to cook and it requires garlic that i have to cut i will probably not cook that because i hate cutting garlic um also i just got this splenda natural stevia i've been trying to look for the monk fruit sweetener i've just been trying to look for a zero calorie sweetener but i heard the monk fruit one is best and I can't find it anywhere. So I tried this one. I am not sure how I feel about it. I tried it this morning. I am not sure. So I'm not gonna tell you guys that this is great because I don't know. I will let you guys know. Okay, you guys, now all we have left is snacks. So these two, oops. These two are snacks that I do not usually get. I got these because it was Valentine's Day weekend, as I have said multiple times and I was just craving Krispy Kreme donuts 
I love Krispy Kreme donuts, those are my favorite, but these were not it. These were freaking dry, and these just give me like a weird film in my mouth. These were better though than this one, but I will not be finishing these, and I will be finishing these maybe. But I'm not going to go and buy them again. They were just for that weekend. That's basically it. If you want your sweets, get your sweets, but just just portion them out don't like eat the whole bag on the same day you know don't do that okay so um i got these lady gaga oreos a while back i freaking love them i've been seeing them all on tiktok so i had to try them i love them the pack is almost done i got them as i said a while back i will probably not re be rebuying them because they're not good for you, you know. Okay, last, which is one of my favorite things that I discovered. This is the Fiber One Brownies 70 calories for one. Guys, something else I saw on TikTok. You heat these up, you are going to be in love. I freaking, the first time I tried this, I was blown away. It tastes just like a brownie. I think even better because sometimes brownies be dry as hell. This tastes so good when you heat it up. I haven't tried it like normally, but I will always be heating it up. Get it. Guys, I think I had a little bit of mascara under my eyes. I, I have no idea. I don't know if it's a shadow or not, but whatever. Um, but as I was saying, this is everything that I get repeatedly that I have been getting on my weight loss journey and it has been helping me. But also, I I just want to remind you that nobody's journey is perfect. I am still on my journey and this past week, I started binging again. Um... I usually binge when I feel like if something's not working or if something is not like just making me feel good. But um, this time I started to binge because I ordered Domino's for like the first time in a while. And uh, as soon as I get that feeling of how great that food is, I just want to start getting more of it. I will talk about more about I will talk more about this in another video of how I get over my binges or yeah, just how I get back up. But it's it's not a good feeling, you know, you just feel like like usually what happens to me is I feel that that's it. All my progress all my progress is gone. I've ruined everything. There's no point in trying anymore because that's it i just ruined everything so what i changed this time is just my mindset about that because you don't ruin all your progress you know it's just a bump on the road that you can get over and yeah we all go through it you know and i just want to talk about it because it's something that i just i don't want to come off as oh everything's going so great you know like it's not this is very difficult for me because i am used to eating junk food all the freaking damn time and uh it just like this shift is a lot for me but that's why i try to incorporate a little bit of my snacks that i am used to eating or i try to eat out once a week sometimes it turns into two but i am trying that is what I can say and there has been a difference since I started working out, you know, and trying to eat better. So I will talk about that more in another video, but I just I just wanted to talk about that because yeah, I just want you guys to know that I am going through the same thing. I can relate to you. I want to talk about it. Um yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found some things that you will go out and purchase for your weight loss journey. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, but yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.